here on a Thursday evening doing some stair work. We'll see how much sunlight we get or get to how long we last out here with the sun. All right, about 550 vertical feet of climbing. I have no idea how many stairs. <laughs> I've been up and down at least six times. So I need to keep going. All right, 676 vertical feet of climbing, still going. Goal is to get it a thousand probably tonight. But uh, got the drone up a little bit, got some footage. Another day of training. Gotta watch out, looking at the camera too much on these stairs. If I tripped, that would not be pretty. All right, so we got 1,000 vertical feet of gain and loss in just about 40 minutes. So feeling pretty good about that. It's about 6.30 in the evening. And now I'm heading back to work. Good workout. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll catch up later in the basement. Signing off. Ultra Dad out. Before we get started with the video tonight, if you like my videos, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit the like thumbs up on the video if you like it. And hit the bell notification as well if you'd like to be told when my next video comes out. All right, with that out of the way, <laughs> let's get started with the video. <laughs> And I'm back. What's going on everybody? Dan the Ultra Dad. I hope you enjoyed my run today. Got a little bit of stair work, um, stair climbing over at the Germantown Dam. 115 stairs up, 115 stairs down. I think I did it about seven or eight times uh, for about a thousand stairs. I don't know. You got to do the math on that. But um, spent about 40 minutes and had a great workout. Um, only about a mile and a half total. But again, it was complete vertical. So I feel like I, I definitely got some work in today. Um, so pretty chilly out there uh, in the twenties, but you know, no precipitation. So I can't complain. So anyway, tonight we're going to talk about a topic that I think that a lot of people, um, who have never done trail running would love to hear. And that is my five biggest tips for beginner trail runners. So trail running is something I didn't do at all until probably when I was 36, 37 years old. Um, I ran cross country in high school, I ran track, uh, I played all kinds of sports in college, um, but it wasn't until my mid-30s that I even touched a trail and ran on it. So, of course, I used to do some hiking. I did hiking, backpacking, but never really run up the trails. And boy, I was missing out quite a bit. I love trail running now. It, you know, I'm the ultra dad. Um, that's what I do, ultra trail running. That's my main focus. That's what I really enjoy. It's never too late. So my top five tips for beginner trail runners um, are focused at the most basic things that someone, and they're geared towards someone who's never done trail running before, who would like to do it, who would like to do it, but might be a little bit intimidated with the idea of running up and down, you know, serious grades and hills um, and trails that might have uneven, undulated surfaces. Um, so they're geared towards the very beginners. And so if you're, a, if you're an advanced or um, an experienced trail runner, these will seem extremely basic. But you also, if you are an experienced trail runner, I think you'll probably, it'll be a bit of a throwback and you'll have some memories of when you would go through these stages as a trail runner. So my first tip for a beginner trail runner is to have fun. Seems really basic and cliche, I know. But really, that's the whole point. That's why we're out there on the trails is to have a good time, to enjoy it. If you have a partner out there or a running buddy um, running with you, you know, it's a great time for conversation, great time to enjoy the great outdoors and be in nature. 
Um, so don't forget, you know, to stop and smell the roses. The beautiful thing about trail running is there, there really are no rules. So, you know, unless you're racing, you can stop, you can take a break anytime you want. Um, and it's a natural thing to do when you come across something beautiful, uh, just a picturesque landscape or a mountain, um, or even just something as simple as a flower that you see, you know, these things you can stop and admire and enjoy. So have fun. That's the key. You know, I tell this to my kids all the time, especially my daughter. If you're going to come running with me, don't push it too hard. Um, we like to push ourselves, but if you do it too hard, then you'll never want to go back out again. The number two tip is start easy. So it kind of goes along with um, what I just mentioned about having fun and taking your time. Start easy. Don't overdo it. You know, don't treat it like you're racing a 5K or something. You know, unless you have that kind of talent, you're going to wear yourself out way, way too quickly and you're not going to enjoy your trail run. Um, but certainly don't push it too hard in the beginning because it's not easy. And there is quite a big difference between trail running and road running. Um, and the biggest part of it, of course, are the, uh, the hills that you hit. So the ups and the downs, you're going to see some, also the surfaces can be somewhat, depending on, on what kind of trail you're on, they can be somewhat technical. You can have a lot of rocks or you can have roots. The number three tip for a beginning trail runner is buy trail shoes. I know that you don't, you know, this may be something that's a little bit controversial. You don't really want to have to spend as much money as some of these trail shoes are. And, you know, nowadays to get a good trail shoe, you might, you're going to have to spend at least a hundred dollars for that pair. But I would say it's well worth it. If you know that you're going to be doing this, it's, it's probably the best investment you can make um, towards your running on trails. And that is to purchase a nice pair of trail shoes. I didn't do that the first couple races I ran and some of the first bits of training that I did on trails. Um, and I, I learned pretty quickly that there's a huge advantage to having, you know, especially the outsole on the bottom of the shoe that you need um, to get the grip that you need so that you're not slipping and sliding constantly on the trail. So two random trail shoes that I have on hand right now um, are number one, one of my favorite pairs, and that is the Ultra Olympus 4.0. And if you can see the outsole, you can see those lugs and just, let's get that into focus here. Just how nice those are. Um, and you can imagine how useful that can be when you're dealing with um, a surface that may not be as inviting to us when you're dealing with, you know, when you're dealing with a muddy or a dirt, a dirt surface, like a, a, with a trail or even wet grass, you can see how this would be, give you lots of good grip. So the Ultra Olympus 4.0. And then we've also got the Gore-Tex version of the Nike Pegasus Trail 2 GTX. Um, this also has some lugs and uh, uh, not my favorite trail shoe. Um, if you haven't watched my comparison video where I compare the Olympus to the Pegasus and to my uh, Hoka Speed Goats, uh, definitely um, upper right hand corner, you can check that out. Tip number four kind of goes along with uh, tip number two, which is starting easy. Tip number four is don't be afraid to walk. So this is something that a lot of runners would, you know, some runners would say, oh, you can't walk during a, during a run. I mean, that's almost sacrilege. You know, you're not going to get a good workout. You're not going to keep your pace up. You're not going to improve. But I, you know, with trail running, okay, all that's out the door, out the window. That's not something you're concerned about. That's why I love trail running. Trail running is all about the experience. It's all about being outdoors. It's all about having that time to yourself sometimes where you can think about life, think about what's going on and kind of get away from it all. You might not be used to these kinds of challenging surfaces and hills and you might want to be careful that you're not falling you know, on roots and rocks. So don't be afraid to walk. Tip number five is be prepared for and adapt to the weather conditions that you have. So if you're going to plan a trail run, make sure you bring a rain jacket if it's something, if it's a situation where you might see rain. I know this sounds really basic, but plan for the weather. If you uh, are going to go out on a trail run and you know it's going to rain and it's going to be cold, make sure you bring an extra layer. If you know that's going to snow, you might want to prepare and dress a little bit more warmly. You know, in the summer, make sure you can deal with the heat. So make sure you bring um, extra water uh, so that you don't get dehydrated and you're not miserable out there. Um, so always adapt to the weather conditions. And sometimes, honestly, with the weather conditions, it, you know, if it's going to be really nasty out, maybe you need to cancel your run or maybe you need to go run on, on the roads that day. On the other side of the coin, embrace the weather. So that's kind of the other part of, of tip five. 
If you know it's gonna rain, I love sometimes just going out and I know I'm gonna get soaked and it's gonna be a fun time. I embrace it. I'm gonna be running through puddles. I'm gonna be getting muddy. That's a good time. You can really enjoy that, um, especially if you find a buddy that's willing to do that too. So before my first serious ultra race, I remember it was a Friday and I was running, or I think it was the week before the race and I was getting ready. Um, it was my last tough workout before my first ultra trail race. And it was gonna be just raining nonstop all day long. So what did I do? I woke up early, woke up at like six. I went out at about 6.30. And this is, I think it was sometime in, in the spring or early summer. So it was light outside. And I ran through, you know, torrential rain. I had a great time. I had two friends, including my brother, meet me uh, halfway through the run and join me um, in the rain. And we just had such a great time. I hope you enjoyed my video tonight. Um, the five tips for beginning trail runners. Number one, have fun. Number two, start easy. Number three, buy some trail shoes. Number four, don't be afraid to walk if you need to. And number five, adapt to the weather and embrace the weather. So those are my five top tips for beginning trail runners. Hope you enjoyed the video tonight. Hope you're doing well with your training. Thanks a lot for joining me tonight. Had a good time talking about these five top tips. Um, if you like my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the like thumbs up for this video if you like the video, and uh, you can also hit the bell notification if you'd like to be told when my videos are coming out. Had a good time tonight. We'll see you in the next one.